Hello, everybody, and welcome to Islets. Uh, Islets? 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 Another game on the Steam Indie Fest, the next fest going on right now. We're going to give this a go and uh, see what we have in store for us in this delightful looking game. Long, long ago, five small islands floated in the sky, aimless drifting, aimlessly drifting to the wind's current. When one day, in unison, these five islands made contact. This land, which was once nearly inhospitable, now thrived as each of the five ecosystems balanced each other perfectly. To prevent the islands from ever drifting apart, a large electromagnetic core was built deep within each island. As time passed, these cores were forgotten. Until one day... The islands were alone again. The lands became barren, beasts reigned, and life grew quiet. Each year, hundreds of aspiring warriors set out to discover these islands and reignite their cores, hoping to make this land whole once again. Look at us. Look how clean that lineup is. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice. Hey, Eco. How is life treating you up there? Have you slayed any beasts or saved any villages yet? I miss you back here. You know, if things are too tough out there and aren't working out, don't be afraid to come back home. We all miss you, Mika. Hey, Mika. It's great hearing from you. Unfortunately, I haven't been very successful yet. It's really lonely up here. If I can't find a village to save soon, I might just come home. You know, I really thought it would be a lot easier. Hey, Mika. Yeah, things are going great up here. Miss you all a lot. Hopefully next time you'll see me, I'll be a mighty warrior. Eco. Eco, is that you? I almost didn't see you in that tiny thing. How have you been? I haven't seen you since we graduated. Have you had any luck saving the world yet? Because I sure have. I probably killed a hundred beasts and saved a dozen villages by now. They even gave me a nickname around these parts. The Big Head. They must have recognized how smart I am. That said, I do think nicknames are a bit juvenile, so I still prefer my legal name, Snoot. Once I find these islands, I should have them stitched together in no time. Well, anyway... Be careful in that rickety old thing. You got caught in the jet stream of a superior aircraft like mine, and that thing is toast. Well, see you around. How do they keep these things afloat? Oh, uh, no! No, my boat! Ah, uh, why do you destroy my boat? Ah, shit. You ever had one of those days? Suddenly you're falling out of the sky? Yeah, me neither. Um... Our friend, uh, in air quotes, nearly just murdered us. This is a thing. This is this is absolutely a thing. We can strike with our sword. Look at that animation, the eyeball. <laughs> so the strike is pretty pretty straightforward at the moment. We don't have the ability to climb a wall. We can strike strike up. We can strike out, and that's it. Every few strikes, we get like a big ol' swing, apparently. Graphics are very clean. Definitely not a realistic uh, approach to <laughs> the world around us. This one moves a little as we step on it. Okay. Oh, nope. That was a bad jump. Ready? Jump! Ah, I didn't make it! There is no falling damage, so that's good. Very Ghibli inspired. Giant crab bug, you got spikes on your back. We know that, that, that you're evil because you have spikes. Spikes are are the devil. Spikes are the devil. Ah, break the giant pot. It's full of souls. Excuse me, spirit fire. Excuse me, 
Um, blue flame. Excuse me. Souls. Uh, dodge roll. That's not the left button. Urgh. There we go. We get an invulnerability shell for just a short period of time. Ah, spikes, you can't handle this. I have found the way to get past you, and that is to become invulnerable temporarily. Game saved. Nice little fountain. Look at it. He's just spraying water at us. Is he spewing it out? Is it coming from his hands? Does he have really long naughty parts that he's now... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> To shoot arrows, press or hold that button. You can only hold a limited number of arrows at a time. The arrow supply is shown on the top screen underneath the health bar. You can replenish arrows by attacking enemies and reusing save points. Haha, <laughs> spiked you. Okay. Can we arrow dash? Can't arrow dash. But we can uh, shoot arrows. They do auto fire. Breaking objects seems to give us arrows back, so that's nice to know. Like these things, those give us arrows over time. Did this act the case? Got you. Yeah, the combat feels pretty pretty smooth so far. View your map, press the button. If you ever lost, make sure to check the map to find the nearest open path. You can also pause the game by pressing the other button. You know these people played games a long time ago because controllers no longer have start and select. <laughs> It's like a menu button and a capture screen button and stuff. There's our map. Lots of places we have yet to go on the North Stable Island. Chain reaction? Yeah! Eh. Well, that's good to know. At some point, we might have to, like, run across some of these things. That's all of our arrows. Hmm. Hello there, turnip man. Hello there, turnip man's friend. You're now murdered. I'm responsible for the deaths of hundreds. Wrong button again. That's the one we gotta use. Another save point. Uh oh, the bridge is gonna fall! Ha! Didn't get me. Oh gosh, can't go that way anyway. Ah! Uh... Bloop. Well, we float quite easily. Uh oh, this looks like a boss room. Turnips, deadly turnips. Mix it up with some arrows and some strikes. Ow! Ah, no, you don't. Haha, <laughs> that feels pretty good. Wasn't a boss fight, just a challenge room. We are quite injured now. Um, do we have a way to gain back health? Yo, what are we anyway? <clears throat> Some sort of um, gerbil? Hamster? I'm not sure. Go away, turnips. We don't eat turnips around these parts. Although I did just have a nice zucchini lunch. You're like, what? I'm like, well, I uh, want to change my diet. It's a ghost pot. You had so many things in you, ghost pot. Thank you. This is where we could have jumped down earlier. Do enemies res... Uh, jump. Jump down. There we go. It wouldn't let me jump down. Enemies do respawn, it looks like. Not all of them. Because there was two here before. Now there's just one. Maybe it takes a certain a certain amount of time. Sweeten. Shooting down doesn't work. That does. Excellent. This looks like a big boss room. Uh, okay. And we can skip in case we need to uh, avoid the animation in case we lose. The grave crawler. It's a turnip wearing a skull. Bad turnip. Uh oh, I don't like this. Nope. Definitely has a large amount of health. Hitting enemies gives us back arrow charges. Ow. Every few hits we get a critical. 
Ow, get out of the way. We're about to die. Ah, low health. Ah. No, it got bigger and the music changed. Uh, no thank you. 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 Ah! Ah, dang it. We've been defeated. Man, that was something else. Okay, so we can skip this and just get right into the fight. This early is pretty easy. Ow! Remember to dodge, fool. It actually shows us our invulnerability window with the shield and the little... I like that. Our uh, cooldown timer and everything. Ow! Time for big fights. Oh, oh no. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you, no thank you. Ah! Stupid dodo bird. Ah! No, we're low health again. Ah, we didn't miss the uh, stalactite. So close! <clears throat> the way the music kind of changes and speeds up and stuff. Oh, that adds a, an element of, oh no, to life. It's delightful. Get out of the way. <clears throat> Feels like the trick is just to kind of always be doing damage. I mean, yeah, duh, I get that, but. Okay, gotcha. Time for speedy fights. Quit firing arrows in the wrong direction, you fool. And that exclamation points tells us he's about to start flinging, uh, black tights at us. Slagmites? They might be on the ceiling, but they're not. Yeah! Ow! Get away! We don't want to be spiked. Come on! Get him! Yeah! We win. Blau. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look. You want more? You want more of this? Yeah. 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 Couldn't handle this, could you? Yeah. Is there another boss fight? Okay. Is it gone yet? Been on this island for three weeks now, and the moment I'm finally face to face with the beast, I run and hide. I wish I was brave enough to fight like that. Well, anyway, are you also here to reconnect these islands? I've been seeing so many other warriors around here lately trying to do the same, but so far no one has much luck. I think a brave mouse like you has what it takes, though. We're a mouse. Huh. Could have fooled me. Only a strong warrior could defeat a big beast like that one. Well, I'll see you around. Sorry I wasn't able to help out there. Maybe someday I can build up the courage. See ya. See you later, buddy. Get strong and tough like me. Watch my eyeball go all muted. I become an eldritch horror temporarily. Oh, what did I do? <clears throat> oh no, the world exploded. You'll gain the ability to jump again in midair. Magic double jump powers activate. Oof, my kneecaps. Okay, we can double jump. There's no way in hell I can get up there. Okay, fine. 
Yee! Yee! What? Oh, hard mode. The head isn't teleported. You can use it to move around the island a bit quicker. You can only teleport to teleports you've already passed, and only if they're on the same island. It seems to be the first teleport you discovered, so it won't be very useful just yet. Okay, we can't do it yet. It's not like a boss rush mode or anything. It's a. Uh... Your skull has changed color. It's white now. It's become sun bleached. I need to get a ground pound so that I can go down lower. But now we can go to places we couldn't go to before. Eat arrows. Simplistic combat, yes. But still very rewarding. And looks like challenging enough, too. So I am digging this so far. Uh, uh, nope. No secrets. No secrets. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, out of arrows. Get away, spike bug. You and your kind deserve no no quarter from me. We cannot abide the spikes. We're just going back. Um, how do we look at the map again? Oh, we haven't been here yet, actually. Spirit's Landing. Hello there, giant bird thing. Ah, uh, hello, little mouse. Are you lost? Lucky for you, I have all these islands mapped out already. If you make your way to this island's port, you can fly between islands and discover all there is to see. I'll even help you out and mark it on your map. If you trek through these woods, you should find your way there. I've marked its location on your map with a question mark. To view your map, press the map button. I'll help you out for free this time, but if you get lost again, it'll cost you, because I'm a pain in the ass. I normally stay up in Sky City, so if you could ever need if you ever need help, you can find me there. So way over there on the question marky mappy area is where we're supposed to go, huh? Well, we're not going that way. Ghost plants! I'm entering Purgatory. Hades! Ah, giant pink weirdo. Just blew up on me. Get off the ceiling, damn ceiling spikes. Can't go anywhere without the spikes showing up nowadays. Yeah. They're crawling. They became mobile. Oh, boy. Heard this forest used to be underwater a few thousand years ago. I wonder if these spirits were alive back then. They don't mean any harm, but I wouldn't touch them anyway. So dangerous. Ow! Spiky spirits. Why are the spikes mobile everywhere? It's me versus spike dumb cum. Spike dumb kind. Give me all of your souls. Wah, drain the Hello there, cloud blobs. Why, oh why, would I ever let you out of that cage you were in? This made me safe. Oh well. There you go. You can be free next time I see you. <laughs> ah, wall spikes, ceiling spikes, jerk spikes are us. Eat arrows, punk. Uh, what were you? I would feel bad if I knew what that was, because it was probably not even a bad guy. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we got things here. Press attack near them to perform a dapple grash. Oh. Cool. Dapple grass refills your double jump. All right. Yeah. Um, you go funny running into you again. I saw your airship breaking apart when my rearview mirror when I was pulling away. You really should have listened to my advice and ditched that puny airship. But in the end, I really did you a favor. Without my help, you wouldn't have found this island and you'd still be flying, flying around in that rickety death trap. A simple thank you would suffice. How about I stab you instead? Just do you an asshole! Yes. Friend. Friend, friend, friend. Friends murder other friends. Oh, I keep peeking my mic. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. There we go. We'll bring it back down a little. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> It'll help keep me from blowing out all your eardrums. Oh, we got a bunch of globes. Globes try to fall, and then they explode upon you. We're experiencing some frame rate drop suddenly. Strange. And now the frame rate uh, drop is gone. 
What is that? I saw one of these earlier. It's an upgrade. Max health increase. Enemies drop more currency. Increase arrow ammo. Sure. We'll take more arrows. I can't swim yet. I mean, I can swim, but I can't swim down. Now we got another teleporter. Excellent. Once we can swim, we'll come back to this area. In the meantime, stop blowing your brains out all over the place. You need those to think. I think. I don't know what you are. We know your kind. We don't want your kind around here. You spikes have no place in this universe. You spikes are just about spiking. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I am bigoted against the spikeliness kind. Oh, we gotta... We gotta get all of these in that amount of time. Okay, I see. So we gotta go like this. Up here, up here. Over and around. We gotta get you, get you. And then, got them all. Ha <laughs> ha! That's kind of a cool little puzzle. Increase arrow fire rate. Release a powerful attack at low health. Attacking three times quickly causes more damage. Sure. You, 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 you. Ah! Okay. This looks like a challenge room. It is a challenge room indeed. We gotta kill five of these. Got you. Got you all. Alright. Not too tough. Oh, great. Another spike fish. I guess I'm following you, spike fish. There we go. Not too bad. But still, your kind must fall. It is the rise of the non-spike fish clan. Uh, okay. Ugh. Clever enough puzzles. There was a secret over here. I just opened it without even realizing it. Nice. The more we move forward, the faster we move, too, which is kind of cool. You can get some big jumps off there when you're just like, Wah! But this looks like a like a secret. Um. Hello, kitty. Give us all the sodas. Pull the soda machine. Ha, 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 ha. I'm destructive. We got another upgrade. Enemies drop more. Increase arrow fire rate. Let's, let's shoot arrows faster. Did anything else come out of this? Is that it? Is that the entirety? I think that was probably all of it. But it is nice knocking sodas everywhere. I always wanted to do this to a soda machine. <laughs> a little bit of catharsis there, you know? Damn you soda machines and your vile prices. And that time on occasion when you just have, like, one item that just sits there and hangs inside of it, and you're like, I should shake the shit out of you, but if I do, I might get crushed to death. Remember that story? Someone who was squashed by a vending machine? Oh, uh, it doesn't sound like a good thing. I remember this area of the Grass Valley. We had the question mark over here to go to. We couldn't jump up that high before. But now we can. I will not let you go. I saw you both there. You know what that means? Murder. That's what that means. You and all spike kind must fall. And you know what, turnips? You're you're going along with them because you're, you're siding with the spike kind. Oh, no. You cannot return damages to me because I hate you. Getting revenge upon me already. But you know what? You shot first, not the other way around. Yeah, I remember you. You're that mouse that saved me from the beast. I realized I never introduced myself before. I'm Great Bird. Your bravery really inspired me. I managed to trek all the way back here without hiding in a bush even once. Well, anyway, I wish I could repay you somehow for helping me back there. I know. You can use my airship if you like. I'm a bird, so I haven't really been using it anyway. It's not the best, but it should help you get around for at least now. You can just hop in the airship and you fly on, discover new islands. Whenever you want to leave an island, just get back to the port and hop on the airship. Uh, yeah, sure. We can come back at any time. 
So we just fly around. We still have areas in there we haven't um, finished. Obviously, there's a few things. It tells us what's there. The core's there, and things are there, and blah, blah, blah. But I have a feeling that backtracking is going to be important because that'll lead us to... We only have one working rotor, or... Okay, no. Um, once we get new abilities, we'll be able to come back and, and find the rest of the stuff. That's delightful. So this is an interesting, like, travel slash level pick mechanic. Thank you for playing. Wishlisted on Steam. Join our Discord. Return to the menu. Coming up in Islands. Um, yeah, definitely on the list. This will be one we play, for sure. That was actually a really fun little game. Very cleverly designed. Cute. Whimsical. Very Ghibli-inspired, like I said. Um, interesting little characters. Fun combat. With a lot of a lot of heart. A lot of options available on it. Uh, so look forward to that in the future. This has been Islets. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. As always, continue being your wonderful, beautiful selves. And goodbye!